All right, guys, so today we want to talk about another check that's really important on the cylinder heads, and that is combustion chamber volume. So because the combustion chamber is oddly shaped here, <clears throat> we can't really take a micrometer or some type of a precision measuring tool and measure the area that this displaces. So what we do, what we do is we use liquid. Now what we have here is we have a, a burette and this is a glass tube that has increments of measurement on it. And this is measured in milliliters or cc's. We want to know how many cc's or cubic centimeters of liquid will fit into this space here and that's going to give us the size of this chamber and that will allow us to calculate our compression ratio. Also on performance engines like like this one you're going to be you're doing a Chevy this happens to be a Pontiac aftermarket head but regardless the process is the same. So the kit that you can buy for this comes with a piece of plexiglass with a hole in it. This was just a piece of plexiglass that I bought at the hardware store and drilled a hole in and you can see it's the holes kind of offset. Now also what we have here is we actually have a couple of household items that you can buy. One of them is I like this green colored rubbing alcohol. You can buy this for like 97 cents a bottle at the, the drugstore, Walgreens or whatever. And then just uh, some petroleum jelly. And the reason we use this petroleum jelly is because we want to seal the plate. So you can see what I've done here is I've taken a dab of that petroleum jelly and put it around the chamber and then we're just very carefully going to take our plate and we're going to put it right there and push down on it because we want we want this to be able to seal. So what that layer of petroleum jelly does around that chamber is it's going to cause this plate to seal so it doesn't leak. We want to seal up that chamber. Also, you'll notice we have our spark plug in here. You want to make sure you have your spark plug in there. And then we just locate our burette. You just situate this so you get right over that hole. Now it's important that you try to get the head as level as possible for this because this can be tricky. Sometimes you'll get a bubble in there and we'll try to do it here without getting a bubble. But basically we're going to open the valve and we're going to fill up that chamber. Now once the chamber is full, you got to kind of be Johnny on the spot with the valve to turn it off. And then we're going to read how much of this liquid. So right now this burette is full all the way up to zero. And whatever this reads when we're done, that's going to be how much liquid is displaced into that combustion chamber. So here we go. We're going to open that valve and we'll fill up that chamber. It's also it's important to make sure your valves are, are sealing and seated. This, these valves have already been seated. So you can see we're filling up that chamber. And we want to go until we just get that filled up without spilling any. And you're going to watch your bubble kind of start to disappear here as we fill this up. Almost there. So there's your bubble, and you can see that bubble. We got to be real careful. So now you can see we got a little bit of a bubble in there. You can kind of pick up on the head a little bit, and you want to kind of, it's kind of like a level. You want to bring that bubble over to the fill point here. If you see, we get it over here to the fill point, and then we can just finish filling that area very carefully and there it is. So now we've got our combustion chamber full of liquid and we want to read our burette here, our meniscus. Okay, so if we read our scale on our burette here it says exactly 74 cc's. Now you want to get kind of to the bottom of that meniscus or whatever you want to call it in there. That's one of those words that's fancy. But we're reading right at 74 cc's. Now, according to the manufacturer of these cylinder heads, they're supposed to be 74 cc's, which we're, we're right on the money. That's good. 
like I said, for a performance engine, you want to go through and you want to do every one of these. And then, especially on factory heads, we might equalize these chambers by uh, taking the biggest chamber and making the other ones, you know, just do a little little bit of smoothing out and trimming here. These aftermarket heads are usually really consistent. So that's good. 74 cc's is what we're looking for on this engine. So that is our combustion chamber CC process and this will allow us to calculate our compression ratio now which on this one with 74 cc's we're going to have right at 11 to 1 which is perfect for this big cubic inch engine we're building here.